hi guys uh, welcome back today let's learn how disc break works with the help of this animation as you see on the screen so uh, that black color at the center is the disc or the rotor you can see the piston which is in green moving towards the disc and it holds on the disc and stops the disc thereby the wheels also will come to a stop that's how uh, a disc break works so let's see in detail the uh, green colored unit shown over here this is the piston okay and here we have the caliper where we have the piston and also the brake pads so uh, this is the brake fluid coming from the brake master cylinder and this is the rotor or the disc which we are stopping uh, in turn to stop the wheels uh, so those red colored both of them are the brake pads and that's a wheel which we need to stop and that's the wheel hub so you can clearly see that the wheel is connected to the wheel hub and the wheel hub is connected towards the disc. So stopping this disc will stop the wheel. So let's uh, see all the components together and see how it works. When the wheel actually rotates, there will be a kinetic energy on the wheel. So we need to stop or we need to take this kinetic energy away from the wheels to create a brake effect or to stop the wheels. What we do in turn to uh, make that possible is we just uh, press the brake pedal and the master cylinder energizes or pressurizes and the brake fluid comes through like this through this yellow line that's the brake fluid comes and pressurizes the piston and the piston moves towards the rotor and stops the rotor thereby uh, stopping the hub and the wheels so let's see uh, the animation once again uh, the brake pads coming in contact with the rotor and thereby the brake effect is created so i believe you understand how a uh, disc brake works so for more updates click the subscribe button so you'll get updates and uh, you can visit our website howmachineworks.com for more details and this comes to you from the production house of team techfreaksinfo.com thanks for watching happy learning